Hi guys, this is Ms. Zuvon, and in this video, we are going to focus on our convention straight lesson one. Our objective is apply the dating standards to a piece of writing to make it mechanically correct and therefore easy to read. So, as you know, we have our key qualities. Checking spelling, punctuating effectively and paragraphing accurately, capitalizing correctly, and applying grammar and usage. During lesson one, we are going to be working with the key quality checking spelling. This lesson has you practice spelling strategies, including syllabication and analogy, review rules for forming adverbs and plurals, and review prefixes, suffixes, and roots. To begin, we are going to be filling up this paragraph that I am sharing with you right now. You will have to write the words that go on each of the boxes that are empty. I will be reading the paragraphs to you and you will be completing the chart with the missing words. Let's go ahead and read together the paragraph right now. The war started in Europe when the German Nazis under Adolf Hitler began to invade neighboring countries. By 1938, the United States was preparing to enter the war on the side of its European allies. Factories that made war materials were humming all across the country, but blacks had few opportunities to get jobs in these industries. In January 1941, black leaders led by A. Philip Randolph went to Washington to meet President Roosevelt. They told him that unless he called for an end to discrimination in the defense industries, they would bring 100,000 blacks to the Capitol and stage a huge process on the White House lawn. In June, the president signed Executive Order Number 8802, which stated, there shall be no discrimination in the employment of workers in the defense industries and in government because of race, creed, color, or national origin. While this executive order did not end discrimination, it helped blacks gain more rights to equal employment. Black leaders also pushed for an end to segregation in the armed forces after Japan attacked the U.S. naval base at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii in December 1941, and the United States officially entered the war. Many blacks had enlisted in the armed forces to help fight for the American cause, but they had always been assigned non-combat duties. During the war, black soldiers fought for the first time in combat units in the Navy, Marine, and Army Air Corps. A special flying school was set up at Tuskegee Institute. The 19th Fighter Squadron, made up of pilots trained at Tuskegee, performed so well in European combat that they helped bring about the eventual integration of the Air Corps. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope it helps you complete the activity of this week, okay? I will see you in class. Bye.